Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So a couple days ago, we all got this in-game notice about an upcoming, I think they called it extremely challenging or super challenging event called the Infinite Dragon Ball History event, right? And at the time, we had no idea what it was about or what it looked like. But what I do know is that people were super, super hyped for it. I know I personally am. I can't wait to finally be able to run it, right? And while we're still pretty much in the dark about exactly what it's gonna look like, we do now have some additional details and the English translations were provided to us by none other than the one and only Goresh from the Dokkan subreddit. So huge shout out to Goresh. Thank you so much for everything that you do for the Dokkan community. And uh, let's jump into it, guys. So he says, it looks like there will be two stages in total with both stages having eight fights each. And there is a mission for each battle of each stage. So as long as you clear the battle, you will complete the mission associated with it, even if you don't clear the entire stage. So basically, total of 16 fights. Each fight has a associated mission with I believe with dragon stones as well attached to that. I'm not sure if every single fight will give you stones, but each fight does have a mission, right? So even if you don't clear, you know, all a missions of stage one, you will still get rewards based on the missions that are associated with each battle, right? So that's awesome. I like that. And uh, in addition, there are four unique missions. The first one is clear stage one with at least three androids that sell saga category allies on your team. The number two or the second one is clear stage one with at least three uh, androids category allies on your team. The third one is clear stage two with at least three hybrid Saiyans category allies on your team. And the fourth one is clear stage two with at least three pure saiyans category allies on your team and the battles are as follows stage one is yamcha krillin tien piccolo super vegeta super trunks super saiyan goku and then super saiyan gohan and the second fight is going to be uh, or the second stage rather is going to be android 19 dr jiro android 18 android 17 Android 16, Cell First Form, Cell Second Form, and Cell Perfect Form. I apologize if my head was covering a little bit of that, but uh, essentially it's taking us through the different sagas of Dragon Ball Z, right? So I definitely expect there to be more stages that come out later on for uh, you know the Majin Buu Saga and maybe for Dragon Ball Super as well, and maybe going back to Dragon Ball 2, but um, at, at least at launch, it looks like we're gonna get two stages with eight fights each, and uh, you know, of course, associated missions with that. And one other thing I'm sure you guys are gonna be very interested to learn about is that uh, we do get a decent, a very decent amount of stones with these missions for these first two stages of the event. So you can find all these missions in the database on Deep Z Space. And uh, I'm not gonna go over all of them, but as you can see, it says, you know, clear all missions related to stage two of Dragon Ball history, clear stage two of Dragon Ball history once, um, clear phase seven of stage two in Dragon Ball history, and so on and so forth. And when you add up all of these stones, I believe collectively we can get a total of 40 Dragon Stones for clearing all the missions. Now, of course, some people won't be able to complete all of them depending on how difficult it is and I assume since they said it's extremely challenging uh, not everybody's gonna be able to you know beat all the stages or all the fights but let's say you do and if you do you should be expecting around 40 dragon stones for all the missions which actually is not bad at all and even if you only clear like half of them that's still you know 20 stones close to half a multi so uh, not too bad in my opinion and I'm assuming that these stages don't go away so over time as you get stronger units and stronger teams you know everybody should be able to eventually clear all these missions and all the stages and get all the stones so that's freaking awesome i'm very very excited for this event once again guys and uh, that's all the details i have for you today as far as what we know about the event there's two two stages eight battles uh, I told you about the battles, here are all the missions, we get a good amount of stones for the missions, and that's pretty much all we know. If more information comes out before the event actually launches, I'll keep you guys posted, but that's all for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and found it informative in some way, and if you did and you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. 
And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.